3ds max has a lot of plugins and scripts for architecture they serve as tools to speed up the process of creating houses buildings creating plants and trees or even entire landscapes some of them are for rendering and others for creating details to make your projects look as realistic as possible today we've got 19 of those and we're gonna start the list with number 19 a tiles a tiles is a script that allows you to create different objects with repeatable geometry by defining the size and the offset between the individual elements also instead of the offsets you can define the count of the tiles and they will equally distribute according to the interdimensions. You can define the tilt angle for the object, region constraint, and many other options in the ATAL's objects parameters. Number 18, Debris Maker. Architectural rendering is actually something that is very clean, which makes it unbelievable. Debris Maker is going to make sure to add the touch of imperfection to our rendering by adding natural elements. We can scatter pebbles, dead leaves, stones, twigs, and more. Number 17, IV Generator. This powerful plugin can be used for outdoor rendering by bringing a touch of nature to it. IV Generator allows you to grow vegetation or columns, walls, or anything else to produce complex or more compelling scenes. This plugin is free to use, but no longer available on the original owner's website. He was upset because some people, as he claims, are throwing or were throwing $0.01 donations on his PayPal account as a joke. And for now, the option to get this plugin is only to look it up somewhere else on the internet. Number 16, Building Mass Creator. Building Mass Creator is a tool for 3ds Max for providing quick and easy ways to generate simplistic mass buildings. Import building layouts from CAD, draw your own outlines, or just use the default rectangle tool. Building Mass Creator pops your buildings up to their designed heights, and you will be able to turn around heights variations fast, also making changes to heights are no problem with this easy tool. Number 15, Dirtizer. Dirtizer is a plugin that can add a being worn effect to the textures. You can control the level of deceleration. You can make textures drier or wetter. You can adjust the level of random deterioration. And you can add your own old and worn out textures. Number 14, Lobe Work Plants and Trees. Lobe Work is a 3ds Max vegetation management plugin. It is great for architects and designers looking for realistic and authentic 3D plants and trees. It comes with a library of configurable trees and plant species. This plugin was created based on the need for speed when creating vegetation for graphic designers because these traditional ways of creating models from scratch are hard and they take a long time. Lobework offers some plant models for free to judge the quality of the software. Number 13, Fast Housing. Fast Housing generates an architectural structure through a custom procedural mesh object. You can change parameters and watch the results in real time. It's easy and intuitive way to create a house at a high speed level. Its versatility allows you to create your own style. It is also useful for creating urban backgrounds. Number 12, H3 3D. HRE3D is a simple to use 3D plan generator for architectural visualizations. With this script for 3ds Max, you can create trees, bushes, shrubs, flowers, and grass. You can use it for low or high polygon models with precise control of the level of detail on each sub-element. This script works inside the 3ds Max viewport and shows an instant preview of your changes. Number 11, Fast Architecture. Fast Architecture generates an architectural structure through a custom procedural mesh object. You can change parameters and watch the result in real time. This plugin was created by the same developers that created Fast Housing. The difference between those two plugins is obvious from their names. Fast Housing is for creating houses and Fast Architecture is for general architecture purposes and it is better used to create buildings. Number 10, GroundWiz. GroundWiz is an alternative to i2 software for spec. 
It makes nature scenes with ease and precision. This plugin will help you to create textures for the terrain you have or imported using plugins. Unfortunately, this plugin is not available for the latest versions of 3ds Max. The newest version is 2015, but from what we can see, this plugin can do a lot of cool stuff. It is a tool that is going to help you to create scenes and it is great for architectural purposes. Number 9, Grow FX. Grow FX is a plugin for 3ds Max that allows you to create plants and trees. You can create broad leaves, trees, conifers, palm trees, flowers, ivy, and many other vegetational compositions. Most plants in 3D applications have many polygons and vertices. It makes it hardly possible to display many plants in the viewport in real time. In Grow FX, this issue is solved. There is a specific display mode named Lines, which displays models in the viewport as simple lines. Number 8, Low Poly City Builder. It is a low poly city modeler ready to render for 3ds Max. This is a plugin that contains tons of good polished low poly buildings to make your life easier by speeding up the development of low poly city projects. It works on a system grid that gives you the flexibility to place any object on the grid and make the scene place correctly. Low Poly City Builder comes with a terrain builder which will allow you to create the terrain for your city with the proper size of maps and auto applying materials, even auto lights. This plugin is very simple because there are no modeling skills or advanced knowledge of 3ds Max required to use Low Poly City Builder. It is completely procedural and easy to use. Number 7 City Traffic. City Traffic is a plugin for 3ds Max which helps you to create car traffic flow on the roads and off-roads. It has a specific road editor and automatic car setup for a substantial and accelerated preparation of scene for traffic simulation. It allows configuration for each car which gives the ability to create realistic simulations. City Traffic's artificial intelligence allows cars to operate independently and Dynamics calculation makes movements on complicated surfaces more realistic. Number 6. Ghost Town Using Ghost Town, you can drag and drop facades on building faces or randomly assign them to buildings in the building node. Also, you have the ability to create complex facades with the node editor. Parts of the facades can be saved as prefabs for easy use in other projects. And materials can be saved in the material library and assigned directly in the facade project. You can create simple spline-based roads that follow your terrain, assign different road classes, create overpasses, and a lot more. Number 5. Multiscatter. Multiscatter is a plugin for 3ds Max based on V-Ray scatter technology. It's designed to work not only with V-Ray but also with Arnold, Corona, Octane, Maxwell, and F-Storm Render. Multiscatter allows rendering engines to generate a huge amount of objects in an array. The support for 64-bit systems allow multiscatter to create and submit for render forests and cities. Number 4. Anima. Anima is an animation plugin developed specifically for architects and designers. You can also use it for game development using a game engine. It is ideal for creating 3D animated people quickly and easily. With its artificial intelligence system, it allows 3D human characters to avoid each other to get on and off stairs, escalators, tracks, and moving sidewalks. With its simple workflow, you can create complex crowd animations very quickly. Anime enables you to create actors that walk, run, navigate slopes, ride escalators, and climb stairs realistically. Crowd actors can walk, run, and stand on nearly any surface. Just define an area and the actors are projected onto the background geometry, press play, and the animation adapt automatically to the terrain. Number 3. V-Ray V-Ray is a rendering plugin that works perfectly with 3ds Max. It was developed by the Bulgarian company Kaios Group which was established in Sofia in 1997. It is used for the visualization and computer graphics industry, such as media entertainment, film and video game production, and industrial design, but it is most importantly known among architects and designers. V-Ray is one of the best plugins for 3ds Max, 
and the one that has been around for the longest period of time. Even though this plugin is not new, it is constantly being developed and enhanced over the years. It used to be hard to adjust the settings to prepare your scenes, but now it is becoming easier and able to create better and high quality renders in a short period of time. Number 2. Real Clone Real Clone is a parametric modeling and spline cloning plugin by i2 Software. With Real Clone objects are created simply by assembling and repeating existing geometry using an easy to define set of rules. If you can model in 3ds Max, you can create procedural objects with Real Clone. You can choose from built in presets, adapt existing objects by adding your own geometry, or even create your own from scratch using the Real Clone easy to understand visual editor. It can customize railing, stairs, floors, ceilings, cladding, and facades. Real Clone does not construct an object from scratch, it works by assembling and repeating existing pieces of geometry along a path. To do this, it needs two things a spline for the path and, of course, some modular geometry. Just like 3ds Max, Real Clone has its own modifiers that are used to manipulate geometry. You can group items, create patterns, randomize transforms, UVs and material IDs, create conditional relationships, and more. Number 1. Forest Pack Forest Pack is a powerful scattering plugin for 3ds Max from i2 Software. It is really a good solution for creating vast areas of objects from trees and plants to buildings, crowds, rocks, and more. Also, it is used to create realistic landscapes quickly and it does everything between a home lawn to forest landscapes. Forest Pack is fully multi-threaded and highly optimized for speed and efficiency. Forest Pack also has the ability to randomize distribution, objects, transforms, animations, bitmaps, and tints. And it can mimic natural growth patterns using the innovative cluster feature. You can use Forest Pack's built-in library browser to select and assign plants. You can use over 100 models that are included in the Forest Pack Pro, or you can just create your own presets and share them with others. I hope you found this list of plugins and scripts useful. If you did, please give this video a like. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.